The aim of this video is to review how drugs are reinforcers, increasing the chance that we will use again, how continued drug use changes important regulatory systems like the dopamine and stress system, how these changes result in continued drug use, and how biological differences in us, such as genes and stress reactivity, affect our proneness to develop addiction. This information will help you understand why we develop addiction, but also why it is so difficult to stop using. In this course, we focus on how to treat addiction. To choose a suitable treatment, we need to understand what has changed and how we can support recovery. We need to understand which withdrawal symptoms to expect and how to support a client when they experience craving. So let's start with the first question. Why do we use drugs in the first place? The interactive about drug effects has shown you all the different effects that drugs can have. People use drugs because they are looking for specific immediate effects. They want to relax, get energy, or are looking for mind-altering effects. An additional effect of nearly all drugs of abuse is that they either directly or indirectly stimulate the mesolimbic dopamine system, which causes reinforcement of that behavior. You remember that when you go to a bar, you have alcohol and it feels good. The shorter the time between the action and the effect, the stronger the link between the action and the feeling. The stronger the link, the more likely that you will do the same action again. You are being conditioned that drugs are positive and an automatic behavior is being established. People that have developed an addiction and are motivated to stop can relapse after years because of hidden triggers that they respond to. But you will learn more about that in later weeks. For addiction to occur, you need to use drugs repeatedly. 